Hi again, this is Rich Cruz, and I'm bringing you another installment of Build My Digital Business, where I'm gonna help you to build a digital business online from scratch. So uh, let's get started. So a few other episodes ago, we started off with the ba the bare basics of naming your business. Um, now, today, we're gonna talk about something uh, a little more in depth, um, which is choosing a web platform. So, um, as I mentioned, we've done a few videos before this, and uh, I want to explain a little bit of why I'm doing this. So, first of all, I'm inspired by a lot of the um, business heroes that are out there right now for me, who are kind of going out there and giving it all away to the uh, other members of the business community to help them succeed. Um, so in doing so, you know, I don't want you to feel like you're to feel intimidated, you know, to feel like you can't do this because really you can. Um, but even if you do feel intimidated, I also don't want you to feel like you're alone. So uh, you certainly have lots of uh, support here. And what I'm going to be showing you is that, you know, the, not only is there stuff you can do, but even if you don't want to do it, or you, you, you want to delegate, which as a business owner or manager or director or, um, or an executive, you'll want to do, um, you'll be able to do so and make some really good decisions with uh, the knowledge you know, of how these things are done. So um, if you've been watching my series, what we have so far is a company name, a company brand, a bit of a marketing and business plan, uh, domain name and web hosting. So if you don't have this stuff, you can go back to my previous videos and take a look at that and get up to speed and then come back over here and pick up where we, where you left off. So um, this is a oversimplified version of the different web platforms that are out there. But um, I think it's important to kind of make the distinction of some of these. So first of all, we have HTML websites. So uh, Hypertech hypertext markup language that's the the basic building blocks of uh, a website and that's where I got my start uh, you know I built my own website when I owned a sign company um, straight up from HTML um, and then I moved to, into doing that with uh, Dreamweaver which is an Adobe product um, which was a much better experience uh, than, than coding from scratch uh, but, uh, you know, I, I don't really do that anymore. Um, I, it's certainly, you need to know, you know, a little bit of you know, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, stuff like that uh, to, to, to build a good website. But there are a lot of other um, builders that are out there. And that's what we're going to focus on in this discussion here. So um, the second type of platform you can go for is a proprietary website builder. When I say that, I mean proprietary that it own that it's it's owned by your hosting service. So GoDaddy and Bluehost and uh, several of the other hosting companies have their own web builders. Uh, so you can you can you know get started right away with with that. Thing is, when you're using those, you're really kind of stuck with uh with that host and uh if you wanted to move hosts it's a lot harder to you know migrate your site because it's got that proprietary software there. um another uh another option that's very popular out there uh today is a website as a service so if you've heard of squarespace weebly wix shopify um, I'm even lumping HubSpot CMS in there, even though it's a kind of a different animal. But, you know, these platforms are self-hosted by that company that's offering them. Um, some of them are really good platforms, actually. Um, you know, so I've worked in uh, Squarespace, Shopify, certainly HubSpot. And, um, you know, I, I think there's a, there's a lot of merits to them. Um, but the thing that the, the platform that I'm... A fan of is uh, the use of content management systems, uh, hosted content management systems on on a on a host. Um, so uh, there's a couple of different uh, CMS options. So and it really goes by kind of the different languages that are out there. So um, ASP.NET, which is Microsoft um, language, 
uh, you know, things like I, I believe uh, I believe it's Sitefinity. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's one of the ASP.NET ones. Uh, I know I've worked with a few other ones in the past that were uh, e-commerce systems, uh, like Red Prairie, which I think is now different, but a uh, different name. But uh, yeah, I've worked in those types of systems before. Uh, Ruby on Rails is another language. Um, as I understand it, Refinery is a content management system for the Ruby. Um, I personally have never worked in that, but it is you know, something that's out there. Um, one of the most popular languages is PHP. So you've got Drupal and Joomla. Um, but my favorite content management system on PHP and of all of these really is WordPress. So why WordPress? It's my go-to platform. I've built uh, well over 200 websites. It's just, you know, I, 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 I'm ho at home with it. Um, it started as a blogging system and now it's a full content management system. Uh, it is open source software, so you can actually find support all over the place. You know, um, you're not really tethered to one very specialized type of company. There's a whole lot of people who know how to work uh, in a WordPress environment. Um, and, you know, for me, I, I think it's got great architecture. You know, it's got, uh, uh, it's set up so that you can store all of your images and page files and plugins and all that uh, on your server and folders. Um, it has a database for uh, referencing those files. And it's just got a ton of ability for expandability. Um, you know, so you can, you can expand your site with um, different themes um, themes are kind of the look and feel of your site and different plugins, which are like the little programs that add functionality to your site. And, uh, you know, that's really about it uh, for today's uh, overview. So, you know, we're going to, in our upcoming chapter, we're going to start uh, actually building a website from scratch uh, in, by installing WordPress. Um, we're going to be using SiteGround. And uh, again, I'm going to leave a link in the description to SiteGround here for you. Um, and, you know, I want to thank you for your attention. Let me know if this is helpful. If you do think that it's helpful, please be sure to like and share. And I'll see you in our next video. Thanks.